Adalberto Costa Jona, according to the court, is no longer the only leader. But this is a huge incongruence because the same court has already recognized before the results of the Rita Congress. So he says there is a, another stunning block against the rise of the that was Mario Parvai, a veteran independent and journalist speaking with us from the capital, Luanda. The COVID-19 pandemic is taking its toll with one of seven young people in sub-Saharan Africa living with a mental condition. This startling statistic is mentioned in UNICEF's flagship report, the State of the World Children 2021. The study, for the first time, looks into the mental health and well-being of children and young people. Reporter Vicky Starks for PWM B, UNICEF's specialist on mental health and social support for Eastern and Southern Africa. The report says globally almost 46,000 adolescents die from suicide each year. Among the top five causes of death for their age group, UNICEF show and Lee elaborates. What we're seeing now is that suicide globally and in the nation's growth um, is a, an increasing risk um, both of health and complicit suicide is certainly on the increase from what we know from these statistics. But we're also very cautious about the statistics because we know that those around self-harm and suicide are not always um, accurate and comprehensive due to number of reasons. The most common mental condition in children in Eastern and Southern Africa uh, and anxiety and depression is where there are a number of contributing factors. It's often related to the social economic conditions, poverty, for example, exposure to toxic stress in our lives and in our region. We have a number of humanitarian and emergency situations, which are all risk factors for mental health. There are other issues such as trauma and 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 well-being. But we have noticed as well in the region through our transportation mechanisms, we are seeing girls in particular getting married to younger. We know through our collaborations and partnerships with our health funds that there's an increase in risk of gender-based violence, of violence towards the degenerative of the pandemic, of the children being at home more. There's also a concern that orphans and young people may lose a due to the pandemic, we had a lot of older caregivers in the region. Grandparents, for example, older relatives, older um, extended family, caring for younger generations, due to maybe the lack of life of parents in HIV, in etc. And at the moment, what we're working on now is that we're going to talk about the one-house in the Africa region with a high degree of stigma related to that there's a lot of uses of traditional healthcare, traditional, traditional fullness, and this allows us to some of the beliefs and cultures um, in the performing of the health. And we do a lot of spiritual, professions, witchcraft, etc., uh, which is very common for the Africa region. Um, this is something that we find is a challenge. The initial report called by the government to make much more funding available to address children's mental health and the rules of the economic impact should they fail to do so. This is Vicky Stark for BIMU in Cape Town. You're listening to Global Break Africa on the Voice of America. I'm Jen in Washington. Today is Wednesday, October 6th. The U.S. military junta on Tuesday met with financial governments of all institutions in the country. Ayad Melimono, the leader of the opposition Liberal Black Party in Delhi, says the junta is trying to find out what's happening to money that disappeared from the debt of taxes for the last 10 years. This case has been found for communities, spoken in Kodigo, Colonel Mamedi Dubuya, to set a timeline for elections.
election and choose the prime minister to lead in the transitional government. Many who knows has started to search for a prime minister. Basically, during the last 10 to 11 years, a lot of money from uh, the public coffers is absorbed. Uh, the juncture is trying to recover that money. They are about to start the audit of the management of the public finances for the last 10 years. Thank you. 